Kate's five months. YouTube. Welcome back to our channel and yeah. if you are new here, welcome. Um, sorry we've been kind of MIA lately. Uh, we went from making vlogs like every week or every other week but mm -hmm. then the whole RSV thing happened with Mr. Cade yeah. and it kind of threw us off. But we are back now. Yes. Today's video is going to be about Cade's five month update, but we want to go ahead and do uh, a quick recap mm -hmm, on the, the RSV because we never finished it. We kind of gave you guys the vlog of what happened right before we got the actual diagnosis of RSV and then we did not record while he was sick. There was just too much going on. So, mm -hmm. uh, Just to recap though, so the last thing that you guys saw was the, next, the next day, day after the hospital and we were saying that he did not have RSV. Mm -hmm. Well, later that day his symptoms actually got a little bit worse and um, the next day I was like, no, he's still just not okay. Right. So then we went to the hospital that Sunday night yeah. Monday he was a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But you Tuesday, went to the doctor. And we went to the doctor that Wednesday, so right. I was trying to do that. So by that Wednesday, I was like, something's not right. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and took him in, and that's when we got the RSV diagnosis. Mm -hmm. and he also had an ear infection. Mm -hmm. So I guess for RSV, they don't give them antibiotics. But because he had an ear infection, he was able to get amoxicillin, right. which kind of yeah. knocked out his fever immediately. Mm -hmm. Kay was coughing, it was congested. So we were doing like the nose sucker and um, like the nasal drops right. as well. But the main thing that was concerning us was his fever. He had right. a fever of like 101, 102 mm -hmm. the entire time. And because he had that fever, he was just like miserable, like blank stares. And it was just, he was not himself. But immediately once his fever went down, he was himself. He yeah. was still coughing and congested, but he was acting himself. So we were... We felt better. So he took the antibiotic for 10 days mm -hmm. and every single day we noticed a significant change of he was getting better. So the congestion immediately started coming out once he started taking the antibiotic. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that was really our experience with RSV. It was, it was scary because I didn't know much about it. So once we got that RSV diagnosis at the doctor, I kind of just broke down because I'm like, what's that mean? He's gonna have to stay at the hospital and right, it right, did right. not go that way at all. Yeah. It's a wide spectrum of RSV. So there's like severe and then there's also like mild and everything like that. So Kate never had to stay overnight at the hospital mm -hmm. other than us being there that night and kind of being there for a couple hours, but he never had to get like admitted and stay for days and days at a time. Yeah. But he did also have an ear infection. So that's, it might be a little bit different for kids. Ooh. All right, we're gonna get any antibodies. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get into so we're done with RSV now. Let's go ahead and get into the things that Cade is doing. Yes, now that he is months, five milestone, months. <laughs> five months, five months. As you see, he is very vocal. Yes, very busy. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is all day, every day. He's yeah. moving and talking. Yes, he is. I noticed that with Cade now. He tries to um, roll from his back to his stomach. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things that we uh, we notice he's being a lot more active with. Um, also, he <laughs> he does this thing where he, um, as y'all just heard, he kind of <laughs> does his voice to where it sounds like he's wheezing. Yes. But I think what K really is trying to do is like... Um, He's trying to experiment with his vocal cords. I agree. He's just playing with his voice. He yeah. likes to hear himself making different noises and I don't know how he comes up with it. He just kind of does, does, does something and then if he likes it, it <laughs> sticks like that. Right. That noise. That one. <laughs> <laughs> he also makes himself fake cough. So I guess ever since he was sick, since he was coughing, I don't know if he kind of just liked how that felt. I'm not sure, but he can fake cough like, right. <laughs> right. like he does that sometimes just for no reason yeah. and then I'm like hey because yeah. I'm trying to make sure he's okay and he laughs so mm -hmm. I'm like that's mm -hmm. how I know he's just faking yeah there he goes there, it goes. there you go son <laughs> let him know I guess because I, I just promise did. we did not rehearse this <laughs> that's just his fun things oh um, he's saying dad dad 
<laughs> He's also trying to say mama. Uh, yeah. So when we um when we verbalize hey. stuff to him, we're trying to mimic. He's trying to mimic us more. So he's being more <laughs> he's being more vocal, as Shmita said earlier, uh, and more expressive. So um, that's exciting. Hey, you guys still the show? Clearly. This is Kay's show. The Kate show. Welcome yes. to the Kate show. Right. Goodness. Um, Andre was saying how Kate is trying to roll from his uh, back, back to, to stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's already doing the stomach to his back. I'm not sure if we had already told them that. I'm pretty sure we did in the last video. Right, but right, right. Just to clarify that. That was um, like at three months, I think. Or probably four so. months. Yeah. Doing it. Uh, another thing he's doing, he is sitting up like on his own. Yep, I'm gonna just hold it. Kay's sitting up on his own. Kay's sitting up on his own <laughs> and um, pretty well actually. Like he can play. Yeah. He does not have to have his hands down to be able to sit, sit back. He um, strong neck and back. Guys, he's not really coughing no, like this. Not. I know it sounds like he really is. Sorry, so <laughs> we had to talk to Cave. Had to regroup. Another noise for him to make. Yeah, so we were saying how he is sitting up on his own now. Very balanced, not having to keep his hands down. He can play mm -hmm. um, while he's sitting up now. And he still will topple over to the side if he kind of gets tired. He just kind of just gives up and goes back or to the side. But... For the most part, he's he's doing what you call that, the tripod sitting. Tripod sitting, yeah. good job. So he's, he's doing pretty good with that. <laughs> and we're working on his neck and back muscles. Yes. Um, oh, we were saying about eating. That was the thing that you were on. Yep. So he's been eating. We introduced him to fruits and veggies. Well, I've been making Cade's food um, because for right now, I want to make sure we have good control of what his diet looks like. Mm -hmm. So we get the, the uh, produce from... Uh, the market or the grocery store. <laughs> she may hate when I say market. Um, and then I would take it home, whether it's bananas, um, papaya. Oh gosh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I would take the bananas or the papayas, even peas, and I would go ahead and puree it. We have this, uh, what is it called? Like a the baby bullet, like a baby Nutri bullet kind of thing. Yep, yep. Uh, that was on the registry, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, somebody got it for us. I would put that in the blender, and it would blend up so perfect. And then we have these little um, Tupperware part, uh, compartments. We put that in the fridge for him, and then when it's time for Kay to eat in the morning, we feed him twice um, on most days. We would go ahead and mix the fruit with the veggie in one bowl. So whether it's bananas and peas or it could be carrots and papaya, we'll mix it in a bowl and we'll give it to him. Yep. Sometimes he loves it. Like he started out loving carrots and then now carrots are not his favorite thing to eat. Uh, most of the time we kind of just mix it like Andre is saying, like we do the peas. We try to just do two at a time, no right. more than two fruits or vegetables. Right, and right. he does love it. But the issue that we have found with feeding him regular or solid foods now is constipation. So we were aware that solid food meant that he would have more solid poop, but he went like two or three days without pooping and then it was like hard poops coming out, like solid turds that start coming out and I know that's not normal, so. Like rock solid. Yeah, so we've also been trying to give him water so that doesn't happen again. That only happened once. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure that does not happen because that kind of deterred us from wanting to feed him as right. often or so much. Yeah, because, I mean, he really does, um, he tries to, to push it out. One thing about Cade, he'll let us know when he's uncomfortable. Yes, he does. Um, and, you know, that, that constant constipation uh, kind of just made us feel like we need to take a little break from it. So... Uh, we're still giving him, um, you know, the formula milk, and we still yes. incorporate rice cereal in there. Um, but yeah, that's the food piece. So Kate is doing, he's doing pretty good with that. He has his shots coming up soon. Yes. Yeah, so today's actually January 16th. Yeah, yeah. And Kate will be six months on January 21st. Ooh, so yay. yeah, he has another appointment coming up soon. <laughs> getting those shots. <laughs> Getting those shots again, yeah. and hopefully that goes well. Yeah. Uh, as you see, this is another thing he loves to do: the standing thing. Yes. He wants to do this right. Constantly standing. Yeah. He's a he's 
a busy boy. That's mm -hmm. what we have noticed. Mm -hmm. And uh, at all times, you will see Cade with a bib on because Cade is drooling like no other. Yeah, we think he's teething. Yes, he may be teething. Maybe that's what's going on because he chews on everything. Like, not even just putting it in his mouth, but like chomping down. Right. Chewing on it, so. Right. But we look at his gums, and sometimes they look swollen, sometimes they look normal. Mm -hmm. We never know. You know, as new parents, yes. we're like, oh, what is that? You see something? I'm like, nah, I don't really see anything. Or vice versa. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, we can talk about the size that he's wearing now. Okay, it's still in size two diapers. I feel like in the next month or so, that's going to change probably. But we'll see. They still, they're fine now. Mm -hmm. And he's in now in three to six month clothing. Mm -hmm. He cannot fit zero to three or that's just three months anymore at all. But... Another thing Kate tries to do with the smaller bottles sometimes, he tries to hold them. Mm -hmm. Well, even with this one, it's mm -hmm. just not the glass bottles he try, He does not try to hold those. But these, he'll put both hands up and if he's laying back like on the pillow or anything, he will use two hands to hold the bottle up. Obviously, yeah. he's not tilting it back, but yeah. he can put his hands there and just kind of stabilize it. Now, it's one thing I want to uh, discuss but actually ask you guys as well. So, our son scratches. I want to know if um, all babies do this, yeah. But uh, or if it's just a self-soothe or if it's something that he grows out of, I have no clue. Yeah. When I say scratch, I mean um, he can be fighting sleep. He's tired. He starts to scratch his head mm -hmm. and it gets to his face. Mm -hmm. He rubs his eyes like this and then he starts to scratch again. So that's one thing that I think we've noticed. But it's not like he started doing that once he was five months. He's been doing it for... Maybe about two months now. Right. Um, but And only when he's now. sleepy. That's right. the only time he does it. Mostly at night time. But even like sometimes before nap time, he will do it. And we say scratching, like Andre said. Like it's like it starts out with trying to pull his hair. Right. And then right. it goes to like scratching here. And now he like rubs his eyes. But sometimes he's trying to rub his eyes. And he has like little scratches by his eyes and nose and mm -hmm. we keep his nails short trimmed and all the time but he's doing it so hard that it's almost impossible not to scratch himself so right. we at nighttime we make sure he sleep with, has his sleepers on so they have the mittens so they just kind of fold over we try to make sure we do that but i think he kind of gets himself when it's nap time mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. does not have a sleeper on every mm -hmm. time he takes a nap yeah. and then sometimes at night we notice he is figuring out how to get his thumb or something out of the fold over sleeper man. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so, so then it will wake up and notice that the thumb is out and now he's scratch. got a little blood from a scratch at the top of his head and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so. yeah. So but I'm that's, just curious. I just yeah. want to know, I mean, if y'all experience that, what do y'all do? Right. So please comment down below and let us know if your baby is scratching. Right. Did they grow out of it? Are they still doing it? Right. Is what it, are you doing to help? Like, help us. Help Please, us, cause really. we definitely plan on asking the doctor when we go. But right. all right, guys. Well, that's all we have yes, <laughs> for it is. Kate's five month update. We will be back in next month for the six month update. See if he's doing anything different. I know we haven't done a lot of sit down videos with Kate actually in it. So here he is. This is the new him. <laughs> say hi, son. You can say hi. Look, yeah. Bit, Mr. Busy. That's <laughs> that's him. There you go. Try to hold my bottle. bottle. All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. All right, y'all. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. bye.